What's up, everybody? Jumping here. Hey, guys, I am back on some Dragon Age Origins today. In the last episode, we kind of just did some bullshit, you know? Some side quest stuff. Just really getting side quests. I didn't really do any, but, you know, we'll figure that out later. Right now, we are in this village. This is for the Stone Prisoner DLC, the first part of it. There's two parts. So let's go do it. Now you get a really amazing helmet for doing this quest. Actually, you're not guaranteed to get it. You have to make a certain decision to get the helmet, but it's super good. Probably best helmet in the game, to be quite honest. Um, when it comes down to like a row, actually, I can't say it's the best because I really don't know. I haven't played Awakening, and there's a couple other DLCs I don't have. I I remember when I was first into this game, I bought like every DLC because um, I was so into the game, but. Oh man, we got dark spawn. So I'm gonna run back over here. Cause I believe there's a whole bunch of them coming after me. I'd rather have the warriors come after me than the all the all the archers. Yeah, I know the archers are coming for me too. Whatever. All right, come on. Let me learn. All right, let's kill these shown be Come on, guys, get them. Got them. All right, ah, uh, you little archers. Why are you running from me? Come on, people. Alright, now we can attack the rest of them. Urgh. Backstab this son of a bitch. You gonna die. Alright, let's stun this one. And now get behind them. Alright, at least she's back there not taking any damage. That's good. That's what you want your mages to do. Alright, we need a heal. I think all that's left is archers, so... That's really not the biggest deal. They're pretty weak. Alright. You're dead. Oh, come back here. What are you doing? You know, one crazy thing about warriors in this game is that you can go down, like, any skill tree. I think you can even go down archery as a warrior. Pretty crazy stuff. All right, let's get him. All right. Yeah, I didn't like that in Dragon Age 2, how they limit you, where if you're a warrior, you have to choose between using two-handed weapons... Oh yeah, this chest right here. There's a pretty good dagger early game. Uh, we'll be getting that real soon here. But uh, we gotta get a key. Anyway, but yeah, in Dragon Age 2 they limit you. They make it so that you can either choose a um, two-handed weapon, or you can choose uh, sword and shield. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of that, I gotta be honest. Um... And then as a, a as a rogue, for example, you have to use either dual daggers or you have to use archery. It's kind of lame, to be quite honest. All right, loot all the bodies. Can I open this barrel? No, doesn't look like it. Now this place is overran by darkspawn. If you can't tell, just in case you missed the last episode. All right, bring it on, people. All right, all right, let's move move down. You know, this is a strategy I try to use in Dragon Age 2 a lot, but it's a lot harder to do than this one, to be quite honest. But it is a really good strategy. Lure enemies away from the group, and then you can pretty much take out, like, you know, certain ones first. And in this case, it's good, because this, obviously, the Alpha is probably the biggest threat here. So to be able to take him out, yeah. Now we can start dealing with the little guys, the the archers and stuff. That's... You know, you want to be able to... Uh, I hate it when they run, though. They always run like little bitches. Just switch to your secondary weapon. Just do it already. Oh, man, they're they're all running up here. All right, whatever. You know, the worst thing, though, is that as, as we're chasing them, we're all taking damage from arrows and stuff. Pretty lame. All right, looks like everybody's good. I don't think I need to heal right now. All right. Uh, stun this one right here. All right, attack people. Let's get them. Yeah. All right, just two more left. Kill that son of a bitch. Kill him. Kill him. Get, get him. Got him. All righty, so. See so if we can open that. Nope. Now, any chest that you come across, if you can't open it, don't, don't trip. I'm pretty confident you can come back here if you want. And even if you couldn't believe me there's nothing in that chest probably that is going to be like oh, I I had to have it you know it's crazy dead villager here he had a key on him don't know what the key does alright so 
this whole quest is about getting this golem shale now some smart ass uh, I'm gonna call you out Lyle pretty much told me or said in one of the videos that because I kept saying he 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 and I probably will continue to say he that it's actually a female which is pretty hilarious when you think about it but yeah I gotta call you out Lyle or be a smart ass alright come on alright so we're definitely gonna lure all these bastards in here we can take them all out there's a lot of archers kill them kill this one now get them alright yeah, that's like the best, that's one of the best strategies, is to get them, get enemies in a doorway like that, if you can, because the doorway, man, you're guaranteed to have them block, you know, and just be ready to get swept and all take damage and stuff. Alright, kill that one now. Get him. Alright, you're almost dead. Alright, now all that's left is just some of these archers. Stun this guy. Um, get him. Kill it. Oh, no, there's more. They have reinforcements. No! Alright, but everyone looks good. I don't think anyone's gonna die. Maybe Sten if I'm not careful, but... Alright, come on, get him. Get him. One hard thing about this game is commentating it, because I need to... I have to pay attention to combat at all times, otherwise I can die and stuff. And uh, when I'm commentating, I'm kind of not paying attention all that much. Alright, so that's that. I killed all them bastards. Alright, let's go ahead and check all the bodies. Let's see if there's any good loot. Mmm, give me that. Alright, I think we're good. Now hold on to all those items, because we need to go back to the market. If you're ever gonna if you're playing as a dwarf noble, you're ever gonna sell, always go back to the one guy. Alrighty. Hey, are they actually able to open that? Wow. Crazy. Alright, anything over here? Yes. Alright, I think we're good to go. So let's go do this quest now. Actually, that's a gift. I think, I forgot who I can give that to. I think I can give it to uh, the other dwarf that you can recruit. He's pretty fucking funny. Oh no, we got more. More dark spawn. Come on, people. Bring it on! Run away! Run away! Now this is how, like, this is good running away here. You run, like, all the way down here. Maximum cover for yourself. And now we can all focus on the little guy. Let's get him. Come on. Urgh, sweep him. Attack. Attack this little bitch. Get him. Ah. Almost got him. Now this guy. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. Now let's go get the rest. Oh, man. Oh, no. They got mages. They got mages. Ugh. Kill the mage. You know, definitely focus on the mage right away. Alright, mage is down. Thank. Thank Jesus for that. I might go ahead and heal. Come on, heal. Fucking Christ, heal. Heal. Actually, that's right. I'm in a hex. If you're in a hex, you can't even fucking heal. It's the worst, man. There we go. Oh, man. Those hex are just destroy you. Alright, she's almost dead. I'm not worried about her, though. Air attack. Come on. Uh, below the bell. Yeah, he's dead now. Kill the last one. Get him. Alrighty. So, that's that. Now let's loot all the bodies. Freaking crazy. Alright, what do you got? Anything good? That's a way back to the village. Keep looking around. Yeah, those crystals um, that I'm picking up, it's actually for shale. Because uh, you have to equip shale with um, crystals for, like, armor and also for um, the weapon. I can't... I think maybe you can put necklaces and rings on and stuff. I'm not not too sure about that. But, all right, come on. Let's talk to these people. By the maker, we're saved! You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us. A Grey Warden? Here! Thank the Maker for our luck! But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. A control rod? Do you mean the one for shale?
What the fuck? Yeah, get on through. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! My father's name was Wilhelm, mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlay. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. My mother never talked about it much. I was just a small child when my father died. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid and, and ran too far in before I could stop her. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? There are defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier, I, I had the key for that, but the rest of it, well, we never came down here, ever. You will thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. All right, so we need to rescue this guy's little girl unfortunately but yeah this is important because and you have to make the right decision if you want to get this helmet this helmet is really really good I believe you have to kill the cat that's the thing you get a choice do you want to kill a cat or do you not want to kill a cat but you definitely want to kill a cat kind of evil right yeah it's not so bad believe me it's a demon spoiler all right let's go ahead and oh no there's enemies. Run away, people. Run away. Run, run, run. All right. Yeah, yeah. Get him to the door. That's what you want. Okay. Yeah, these things can be fucking annoying. All right. Everyone attack. Ugh. Holy crap. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, man. I can't even attack. Everything's so crowded. All right. There we go. I'm on attack, people. All right. Let's sweep them. Alright, he's about to die, so we need to heal him up. Alright, there we go. Go back to our rogue. Alright, now let's take out the big one. Alright, come on, people. Oh, man, I'm gonna die. Got lucky. I got real lucky. Alright, dirty fighting. Oh, man. That was a close one. Let's see. Now that ring, if I remember, that ring's actually not too bad. Let's take a look. Hell yeah, that's not too bad. Alrighty. So now let's take a... See if there's anything else in this room. There's a book. Get the book. Uh, can't open the chest. Well, let's just whatever. Alright. There's some more crystal, uh, crystals here. I don't even know if there's any more fighting. All right. Now I'm pretty sure they give you an auto save coming up, but just in case, I should probably save it. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. I would highly recommend you save it as well. All right, but this little girl is playing with this cat, and yeah. Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Father? Oh, you can tell him I'm fine. Maybe he'll come and stay with us, too. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Of course, silly. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. 
She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always yeah, wanted you a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Alright, now I really do not remember this. At all. I should actually maybe save it again so I can get past the dialogue, but... Okay, okay, I kind of see. We just need to connect it to the other side, so... Whoa, I did it, okay. That was... That took a while, but... There we go, and I leveled yes. up, too. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty? What's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Okay. Now, we need to kill the cat, I'm pretty sure. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! Yeah, run away! It's a freaking half-naked demon! These things All righty. So, uh, I should probably actually level up. Oh, I can't even level up in combat. That's bullshit. All right, whatever. All right, let's take out. Oh, the crap! That was crazy. Ugh. Now the demon obviously can be a big ass threat, but I have some healing potions, so I'll try and take out these skeletons first. All right. Let's go ahead and heal. Oh, he's frozen solid. Him too. All right. All that's left is Kitty. Urgh, attack Kitty. Urgh, kill the Kitty. All right. This is technically a boss battle. Come on, damn. All right, let's stun her. No, nope, that didn't work. Was not able to stun, but yeah, she's almost dead. Die, Kitty. All right, take this stuff. I think I need to turn those in for a side quest anyway. All right, now she. The demon's going to have the helmet on her. And yeah, there it is. Also a belt. I don't think the belt's all that great. But I could probably use it on like her maybe. Let's see. Yeah, it gives me willpower and stuff. Now, I will start to do a lot more damage. Alright, that thing did not get stunned. But, you know, it's whatever. Attack them, people. Attack them. But yeah, every time I stun an enemy now, there's like a whole bunch of techniques um, and different talents you can use to stun the enemy or to have a, at least a really high chance of stunning the enemy. So keep that in mind. It's very important. All right, I'm pretty sure I couldn't open that. Alrighty, so let's go back to daddy. Ah, didn't get the stun. Alright, we're just gonna dual sweep. Attack! Oh, I'm all right. I can already tell I'm doing a lot more damage. Yeah, it's a decent amount of damage, but basically every time I uh, level up from this point on in the game, it's just gonna be cunning. That's it. And each time I level up, I'm gonna get so much more damage. Alright, now let's leave the hell up out. Hey, what's up, man? You did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. 
You'll need a phrase to activate Shale. It's Doolan Han. I wouldn't want the thing, but it's obvious you can handle yourself just fine. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Alrighty. So, that is that. And now we can pretty much leave about it here. I don't know if I ever got that key for that chest. Or if there's even a way... You know what, I think I did get the key, technically. Because I don't think there's any locked doors. That dead villager, he might have had the key. Alright, but now we can go get Shale. And Shale is uh, probably the best tank in the game. What you need to do when you level her up, Lyle. Get, get it to uh, 32 strength, just to equip all the best stuff. And then from that point on, you just flood into Constitution. Basket, okay. What we are looking at is a golem. It would appear it is defunct, though there may be a way to revive it yet. Come to life! I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. <laughs> I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm, another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. And, uh... Nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means... I have free will, yes? It is simply... what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it, or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about, then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Yes, it should. All right. So let's go ahead and um, take oh, Alistair off and put Shale on. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if, if you ever get the persuade option during, like, a choice, for example, like that, with Alistair, 
if you can do the persuade, you'll you'll get a lot less disapproval because you know certain events in the game people are going to disapprove or approve. So if you could persuade them, you'll not really get too much disapproval compared to getting a whole bunch. All right, let's check out this chest. See if I can open it. I am done. Yes, I could. All right, so it's fucking awesome. It's red steel too, which is really good. Let's go ahead and equip that bad boy. All right, so it it only has the only benefit of it. It has plus one armor penetration, but it has two runes where you can put like runes in or whatever. I don't want to say ruin, but rune. But that's pretty good. All right, let's get the hell out of here. There's one little funny scene as we leave. Alright, so he squashes a bird. Alright, let's go back to the camp. And then I think I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we're probably going to be doing some other stuff. The main purpose is to try to level up. That's what we've been trying to do this whole time. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. Please like and favorite the video for me. And you guys have a nice day. Peace out.